Welcome to a quick UNCG Libraries video tutorial on the discovery process, specifically explaining discovery in library databases versus Google Scholar. This video is made by Maggie Murphy, UNCG first year instruction librarian in the humanities, during her webinar on Google Scholar versus library resources. For more information on discovery and using these two resources, you can watch the full webinar at tinyurl.com slash libgooglewebinar or view all of the UNCG library webinars at uncg.libguides.com slash webinars. Discovery and how it works. So through our library, we have the red search box, the discovery layer. Um, and you can use that to search through multiple databases all at once. So MDE means multidisciplinary database, subject database. These are generic here. Um, the databases then have particular journal subscriptions associated with them. So some journals are only hooked up to particular databases, multidisciplinary databases, pull a bunch of different journals. And then you have the articles, which are the items associated with the journals. And I'm showing you here that we have the records for articles from some journals, but we don't necessarily have the access to the full text for all of the journals that we have um, indexed in our databases. In Google Scholar, what it is indexing is not through particular databases or uh, journals, but it's indexing the article. However, using Google Scholar, like I said, especially if you don't have the library link set up, you may not have access to it, which is what that dotted line is.